Oke okay, guys lanjut lagi Kita bermain FIFA 24 Maksudnya FIFA 23 rasa 24 Ah seperti biasa ah, Lawan konven Troy Cadangan aja semua dah And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the... He read the situation defensively and... Callum O'Hare, extremely sloppy in possession. And he's through here. Still a chance. And it's in. 1-0. They breached the defence. Playing it in, well clattered away. And still they wait for the chance. Well, the threat was very real, marvellous defending. Jepang, okay. Siapa yang rebut balik dari... Played over, not away completely. Well, nothing untoward happened. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And Gabriel Jesus, he's in behind. And it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? And no more time left. The referee has ended this particular match. Arsenal. Potentially one to save her. Ar Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. Memang aneh sekali sistemnya. If you're looking for a high-level encounter with real meaning, you've come to the right place. Two teams who symbolize success and both with huge followings about to cross paths. Stay tuned for Manchester City against Arsenal next on EA TV. And a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City, and they take on Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. 
Grimaldo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Okay, this time's gonna be for Masi. Orang cocok dengan formasi ini. Nanti ada pertandingan ini saya ganti. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City, and they take on Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. He's in behind. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the one-two completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So City get the match restarted. Can they come up with an equaliser having conceded? Now, who can he play it to? Havertz. Publiknya kejauhan. Holland. Well, he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, how can you stop him? If you get too tight, he'll use the space behind you, drop off, and he'll turn and run at you. Add that to his movement in the box, and you can see why he scored so many goals. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Martin Odegaard. Saka Arsenal pushing forward with options available Kai Havertz and blocked for now Martinelli nya kenapa jauh amat sih dia gak deket tim De Bruyne well they did have the ball but not anymore Dusan Vlahovic Kevin De Bruyne This could be the equalizer and it is the equalizer Kira kira si Dungu dia mau nekel Udah nempel gak nekel So back underway following the equalizer Pasti dribbingnya jauh lain. Right, time for a scoring update from the Wolves game, and that means we head over to Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. It's all even, Stevens. Oh, wait a minute! Could be in here, and a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Having conceded, Manchester City know they've got to come up with a response. Ini harus tackle, eh, nggak nggak bisa cuma tempel doang. Abuset, masuk. Kayak gitu doang. 
back underway here and they've split the four goals between them so far Oh, Saka, Saka. Apologies to Alex for having to cut her off when we did. Just to clarify, Chelsea did find the net in that game. And it's level now at one goal apiece. Holland. Chance for Ronaldo Silva. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Martin Erdegaard. Well, visionary passing. Real chance. And a goal to seal the hat trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And that is going to be all for the first 45. Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. Space on the flank. Great opportunity. Real defensive resilience. Can't get the shot through. Teman sendiri ngalangin. Well, I know many of you have been following the story on social media and on television. I can tell you that Koke has completed his move to Paris Saint-Germain. Well, the figure being reported is about £30 million, pounds, which in my view is value for money. We know he's talented and on his day, he can be an excellent player. Well, as we can see, Arsenal dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and with it have created some great openings. They certainly look as though they get another before too long. Now can they win back possession and create something else? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Speculative effort here. Oh, so close to extending their lead. Well, that really would have put them in a commanding position, but it's still all to play for here. And let's join Alex Scott now, because Alex, I believe the situation has changed in the Newcastle game. It's a goal for Newcastle. It's now 1-0 with 61 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Vlaovic. Longaran Chok. Jan Chok, I see it. Holland. Hmm. Could really get at the opposition. <laughs> Takes it on, and that's what they needed. Manchester City, a goal to level matters here. <laughs> well, another equaliser. What a topsy turvy game this has been. Layo Fik, and Abanga Maju. Saka. And space to exploit, maybe. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post. But I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Grimaldo. On to Silva. Calvin Phillips, body on the line. Hmm, the nearly do Ahmad. Someone has scored at Molyneux. Let's get details from Alex. And a chance to level it. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? 
Well, we're sorry for interrupting you. Oh, he's through here. Surely. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Trying to pick out a teammate. Mopping up defensively. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Martinelli. And no way through. And he takes it on. In it goes! To increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Lawan, kalau lawannya banyak cetak gol, saya juga <laughs> banyak cetak gol. <laughs> Wah, lawannya seret, saya juga seret. Mungkin karena mereka main menyerang mungkin. Jadi well, lebih gampang saya serang. Holland and Bernardo Silva has it. Erling Holland. Oh my god, the keeper is not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, I must say I'd have to go back quite a few years. Hey, Brad, I'm not going to marry. Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the let's go through the game. Well, it's a wild attempt. He needed something better. Offside, however. Well, you're right. He didn't know it was going to be offside, and that was a shocking miss. Teammates available. Oh, showing excellent vision. He just needs to remain icy cool. Ah, tihang lagi, tihang deh. And a time for calm on the ball. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances. But... Time for a few quick questions. One man the focus of attention in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal up against Newcastle United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Vlaovic, opportunity it is. In it goes, an early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Isaac. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Trossard. 
A really sumptuous ball. He just needs to keep a cool head. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Determined defending. Vlahovic. Trossard. Marcinelli. And the cross into the middle. Well, a bit short with the clearance. The save was a good one. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top class goalkeeping. Well, in possession now and looking to create yeah. something of their own. Well, oh, it's a good a red card. Well, not a red card, just a yellow. Interesting one, Stuart. Well, I have to say, I think the referee's got that absolutely right. I don't think it was a red card. I'm not sure it was a goal scoring opportunity. Oh, what a Absolute perfection. So back underway at 2 1. Tight contest here. Supporters making themselves heard. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, here we can see the well, it has everything. Skill, pace, and and power. Power. There no stopping him there. You don't have a blank for Kanya. Current scoreline here might be able to produce from this position. This looks more than decent and a decent delivery. Safe, but still a chance. And in the end, no damage done. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. This might be ideal for the counter. And it looked like open road for them, but and in with a real chance. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. Well, there it is. Arsenal have created chance after chance, and I just can't see that changing. They've been excellent here. Vlahovic. Martinelli. And Newcastle with the ball again. Isaac. Oh, he's through here. A goal. Just oh, my duty to put it on him. Plenty of life in this match. Well, Newcastle still trailing, but this game very much alive as a contest again. Martinelli on to Trossard wonderful chance oh a goal for Arsenal it's theirs to lose now so the current scoreline 4-2 Rodrigo Here's Isaac. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Farce. Trossard. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. <laughs> Joel Linton. <laughs> and <laughs> <three> forwards. <laughs> He's a print. Can he get one back? Not away completely. Lewis. Oh, the threat is there. Well, no threat posed by the cross. And there it is, the referee's whistle.
and so back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect oh beating his opponent with ease interception to snuff out the danger Well, previously it was speculation, but now 100% confirmed. Bayern have got their man, Stuart. Derek, this could be a goal here. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Gabriel. Determined defending. Joel Linton. On to Almiron. Fabian Scher. Eh, Angler can move it free. Useful looking ball. Now this could really lift spirits. Oh, good work by the keeper. Trying to deliver it accurately. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Joa Linton could be and pushed away to safety. Trossard. Just a quick reminder: we'll have FA Cup fourth round. Oh, he could be in here, Derek. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. Oh, yes, I'm going to put my silver. And given away. Now, options are plenty. And it's with Isaac. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Declan Rice. My name. Jesus, my name. Just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Newcastle United facing Aston Villa. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. start the game it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge Almiron well the threat was very real marvellous defending Gabriel Jesus breaking at pace he's in with a chance surely oh he hey. saved it well, excellent from the keeper. Very That's a really right top-class save. Short corner it is. Happy to take on the shot. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time.
Well, he was under a bit of stress, but back to the keeper. Jorginho. Gabriel Martinelli. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And he might be through here. Couldn't hang on to it. Isaac. Promising looking ball. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. So there it is, the final whistle and a satisfying outcome for Arsenal and their many fans around the world. Got time for a couple of questions? No further questions, thanks. Bonus, eh? The ghost.
hak ini beli nggak ya? Oke deh kalau gitu sekian untuk video kali ini terima kasih menonton jangan lupa untuk like share dan subscribe channel ini see you on the next videos goodbye. What's Killian up to here? He's in, Stuart! Mbappe! From the first frame to the dying embers, it's football everywhere. Welcome to the World Game.